I'm back with another video. Today we have the most horrific mental disorder of all time. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Viewer discretion is advised. In November of 2020, amidst the turmoil of the pandemic, the hysteria of the political climate, and the uncertainty of the future, a man's life was about to change forever. Victor Shara had lived a relatively normal life for 59 years. And in those 59 years, his vision was crisp and clear. On a winter day in Nashville, Tennessee, Victor had just gotten out of bed and had walked into his living room to watch TV. A few minutes later, his roommate walked through the front door and Victor glanced up at him. To Victor's horror, the face he was staring at was not his roommate's, but some sort of stretched, elongated version of it that looked demonic in nature. He thought at first his eyes were playing tricks on him until the roommate's girlfriend walked right behind him, and her face was the same. They were grotesquely disproportionate, stuck in a grimace expression. Each had pointy ears and deep-set eyes and scars across their face. Each of them stared directly through Victor down to his soul, and Victor was mortified. Scared out of his mind, Victor tried to explain to his roommate what he was seeing, and to convey the gravity of the situation. Naturally, the roommate thought he was nuts. I mean, who would really believe their friend saying, Bro, your face looks like a demon right now. I know I wouldn't. Out of options, Victor went outside to see if every face looked like this. And terrifyingly, all the faces he saw outside looked that way. And to this very day, they still do. Victor would go on to say, quote, It's like I'm staring at demons. And he would recount that, Imagine waking up one morning and suddenly everyone in the world looks like a creature in a horror movie. Victor would then be diagnosed with an extremely rare condition known as prosopometamorphopsia, or PMO. And his life would be changed forever due to this. After his diagnosis, he would go on to help doctors facially reconstruct what he saw everyone's faces as, and these abhorrent, grotesque images were born. And as I've said multiple times on this channel, once something has an image and a name attached to it, it can and it will go viral on social media, and boy oh boy, is that what happened. Before March 2024, almost no one knew that such a disorder as PMO existed. But after the virality of these images on TikTok and Instagram, millions have been horrified by them. And even more live in fear of the possibility that they might only see demons in their eyes. Victor's experience with the demon face syndrome is not the first and it will not be the last to ever happen in the world. So now, I will get into the full history of PMO and dig up other older accounts from people who suffered with this disorder. I will also get into some theories on its origins and conspiracies surrounding it. I will be referencing a scientific study that I will link in the description that dates all the way back to 1904, as in 1904, that was the first known case. Without any more yapping on though, let me dive into it. Prosopo metamorphopsia is a very, very uncommon thing to have, and there are fewer than 100 documented cases since 1904. PMO itself is a subgenre of facial blindness disorder, but instead of being unable to remember or recognize people's faces, PMO causes those faces to be distorted in different ways. The demonic faces that Victor sees might be unique to him, because some individuals suffering from PMO will see different distortions in the face, as I will get into in a second. Some might see large mouths and small eyes. Some might see massive heads and small features. 
It depends on who's experiencing it, and it depends on how PMO is actually caused. And sp Man, this video is creepy, bro. Why you gotta... What's... Why you gotta do the extra, man? I know you wanna set the ambiance, but... <sighs> Speaking of that, the root cause of PMO is not known as of this video being released. There are theories, and most scientists and researchers seem to believe that mental disease or seizures or strokes might trigger the response in the brain that causes this disorder. However, the exact mechanisms behind it and the method it happens are not known. So, Hi, we're Visible, the wireless company that makes things visible. With us, what you see is... Some people who suffer with PMO have no underlying conditions, which really just throws a wrench in the scientific study of it all. PMO is understood so little that it's often been misdiagnosed in history as schizophrenia and it's been treated more as a psychological problem rather than a neurological disease. That is, until Antonio Mello and his colleagues created those facial reconstructions with Victor that I was showing you earlier. His name also might be Anthony Mayo. I cannot find a correct pronunciation, so sorry. Accompanying these reconstructions, Mello and his team launched a website called pmo.faceblind.org. The website was created in hopes to get people with the disorder to come forward to share their stories and their experiences with seeing demons where faces should be. Since the launch of this website, over 70 people that have suffered with PMO have come forward to talk about their experiences. All of these individuals reported faces drooping, being larger or smaller, or stretched out more than normal, and just generally being uncanny and off. Fortunately for most, PMO symptoms only last a few days or a few weeks, but in rarer cases like Victor's, these distortions can last for years or longer. Since so little is understood about PMO, Mello and his crew are asking for research participants to contact them in order to get more of a study sample done. And as I said, over 70 have come forward so far, and I'm sure more will eventually. PMO. The first known case of PMO stems back from 1904. In this case, a 37-year-old woman looked at herself in the mirror and saw herself as changed and bigger, with large contorted eyes and a small drool mouth. Five years after that, in 1909, another woman, who was 73 years old, suddenly went blind likely due to a stroke, and after she partially recovered, she noticed that while seeing familiar faces, she saw them as, quote, so large, strange, and grimacing, end quote. For decades after these early cases, only a few documented ones exist. One from 1916 describes a 35-year-old woman that suffered a bad migraine, and afterwards she saw grotesquely disfigured faces out in public, as well as seeing them in her own head. This case is unique because she seemed to be hallucinating the faces while actually seeing them too. Two more cases arose in the 1930s after an experiment with hallucinogens called mescaline, Two people were a part of these experiments, and they claimed to see distorted, snarling faces on everybody that they came into contact with. After the 1930s, it took until World War II to really start seeing more and more cases of PMO being described and documented. These cases typically involved soldiers that got hit in the eyes with shrapnel or from gunshot wounds to the head. One such case was in 1943, one was in 1947, and one was in 1951. These soldiers all described similar things. They could see faces, but they were off and grotesque and demonic in nature. After that, and with the development of more modern sciences, PMO and other types of it have been documented and studied in different people. Auto PMO is when you see your own face in mirrors being distorted. Hetero PMO is when you see other people's faces as distorted. 
Hemi PMO is when only the right or left hemisphere of someone's face is distorted. Zone PMO is when someone sees human faces morph into animalistic faces, which is definitely more rare of all of these cases, and that is terrifying in its own right. Imagine seeing someone with the face of a bear just walking around. Over the course of 2019 and 2020, eight patients who had PMO were studied in Amsterdam, four female and four males, ages ranging from 19 to 74 years old. The majority of people in this study were clinically diagnosed with brain hemorrhages, infractions, or epilepsy. As I mentioned, there is a fantastic case study that I've been referencing this entire time from the Science Direct website. I will link it below if you want all the exact details. Most of those details would bore the average viewer, so I'm sorry to those people who actually want them. You'll have to read for yourself. In all the cases of PMO that have been studied, 92% of patients say that the distortions only occur on the faces of people. 8% of them, however, say distortions can occur in the whole body. The soldier from 1943 said that the hands of others got enlarged and elongated, as well as the face becoming demonic. 64% of the cases were women, and 35% were men. Sorry ladies, it looks like you're more likely to see demons out and about. There are even rarer cases where people see different types of distortion. For instance, two patients said that faces looked like a Picasso painting and were 2D. Three other patients said that faces looked as if there was a kaleidoscope being shown on them. One patient even described seeing a giant ear on top of people's heads while they walked around. And some even said that there was a third eye in the middle of people's foreheads. And others claimed that people's eyes would directly pop out of their sockets like full-on Spongebob physics. All of these distortions are classified under that PMO category, and all are insanely scary to even think about. It would feel like you were tripping off of something without actually taking the substance. I, I can't imagine how that would feel. Especially that guy who saw a giant ear on top of everybody's head. Don't, whoever experiencing this, I'm convinced you're emerging you're merging into a, a cartoon realm. I'm convinced at that point. You, yeah. You glitched out. Your graphics all fucked up. That's a you thing. That's that's crazy. I mean, that's that's scary. In 78% of the cases of PMO, the individuals had an underlying condition or disease that might have caused it, but in the other 22%. There was seemingly nothing wrong with the individuals. This confuses the research a little bit. However, 57% of the patients were cured of their PMO simply by treating the underlying issue, like epilepsy or migraines. All of that information came from that case study I've been referencing. Again, if you want to see the exact stats, more of the findings and that sort of thing, check it out below. I just went over the high points and the things that were relative to the video. I mentioned all of those instances and all of these cases of the demon face syndrome to really paint a picture for you. This has been around for over a century and it's been documented for that long, which means that it's 100% been here for even longer than that. You have to think that modern science and diagnosing things is a relatively new concept. I'm sure a long time ago, there was some English- And someone drew this. Someone drew this. They must have seen this. Rather, they was tripping out on something or... And earlier, how he said it'd be a human, but he'd have a bare head. And then, how was some carvings on... How was some carvings on... Rune stones and old rocks and stuff. It, it shows centaurs, it shows someone with the human body, but with the animal head. So some people can actually be seeing what isn't. Let's continue. <laughs>
Glish warrior who got hit in the head by a spear and then saw demons on people's faces after that, and I'm sure he probably had to go through an exorcism to get rid of them, quote unquote. Just think of the soldiers from World War II that I talked about. They experienced PMO. Well, there's been wars and battles for as long as we've been on Earth. Imagine how far back this syndrome actually goes. And imagine sure. how crazy people thought they were that they saw demons walking among them and no one else did. That's what I'm saying. What if they had this PMO thing? Or what if they really did see these beings being the fairies and the centaurs and the... What's the other one? It got a human body but like a goat head? What if it actually was, and a majority of people that seen it, it actually was that? Rather if it was some genetic, genetically modified being or... That's crazy. I was under the impression that this was a new thing. But again, it's nothing new under the sun. Let's talk about demon face syndromes. I first started hearing about this, I think, I think some months, some months back. Probably a year ago now, I don't know. But that's insane. People really was seeing these things. I would venture to say that demon face syndrome is a neurological disease that goes back as far as we do, but we'll truly never know. Obviously when something such as this pops up out of nowhere on the internet, people from all walks of life are going to have an opinion. Some of them more radical than others but none of them are completely out of the ballpark. Keep in mind, we know next to nothing about where this disorder stems from or why it happens. Some folks believe that those experiencing demon face syndrome are actually seeing biblical demons that walk around, and somehow their brains have tapped into that ethereal realm. That's a horrifying thought to say the least. Some people think that the uncanny valley effect that we all know comes from this syndrome, and that sometime way back in our evolutionary track, humans used to share the planet with beings who looked off, and in modern day, these beings walk by us still, blending in perfectly with society, and only people with demon face syndrome. Who the fuck is this with a, Peel Bear, a Peelsbury Doughboy face? If I see you, I'm sniping you on sight. I'm grabbing the AR ornament Treyarch charm, and I'm, and I'm sniping you. With the key. I'm grabbing it. If I see this, like, what the? Imagine you see this and you just go on a killing spree. You kill demons and they put you in some asylum in the, in the crazy room. And then the people bring you your lunch, still got these faces. You're just going to be tormented. You can't go to sleep. You're going to see these. and That's crazy. Him, I see this. I'm killing you. I'm sending you right back to the loading screen with no materials. I'm not risking it. That's not a me problem at that point. That's a you problem because I see it. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for Super Jill. Let's continue. Rome can see them. Whatever the real reason is, our brains are extremely powerful to the point where they can literally warp what our eyes see. So maybe one day we can har- are you having trouble trying to keep up with your professor? You've got to try Otter. Here's how it works. Harness that power for good, but knowing us people, it'll probably make it worse somehow. As discussed in this video, the demon face syndrome has been around for a long time. Much, much longer than anyone else thought, even me, before making this video. I thought it was a relatively new thing, but the fact that there's diagnoses that go back to 1904 really makes you question. In ancient accounts of seeing demons, did people suffer from this disease as well? It went from being a small niche thing amongst some researchers and scientists to a viral saga on TikTok and Instagram, just because of those uncanny and gross images that were produced. I wonder how public opinion of this syndrome would have been if someone went viral in the mid 1900s for making these images and not in modern day. Would they believe the world was ending? And are we too desensitized to realize how horrifying it actually is? 
people see demon faces on humans walking by. Yeah, and he said it's been going on for quite a while. And it might have been here since the beginning, since humans been here. So if this been going on, which it has, then it isn't because of, oh, we entered 5D and with these The woke community, something else, man. It's, it's, I'm not a part of it. I've been hit since I was like 15. Like, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Vietnam War vet. That war vest. Like, I'm. I'm, I'm not new to it. I'm not a part of the woke community. They. It's cause we're in 5D, man. Shut up. Shit been going on beforehand. They making it seem like. If you see in this, what if they really seeing people's true form or some of their true vibration? Most motherfuckers are ugly by default. Most are low vibrational. Two thirds won't make it. The majority won't make it. They bots. You can play on their emotions. They feel fear. You conjure that up and use it for whatever you want to use it for and actualize and materialize and manifest or. A reality that they claim they don't want but yet they feed in the news and the propaganda attention as a collective what if what if they really see in these people's true form or do they see a gen or something that's in their container being a body or that person that's seeing it being mk ultra or his computer need to be rebooted is something going on here because i see this i'm sniping everything on site like how's you going imagine you got kids now that you see them and then you see these the, how you going how you how you going to get how you going to get some how you going to get some cheeks looking at these bro what if one of her, her butt cheeks doing the same thing? Grotesque and deformity and she got an ear on her. Right, this, this ain't happening to me. I ain't hear nothing about this happening to a neuromelanated being. We ain't the same people malfunctioning. They getting skin cancer, melanoma, and inflamed brains. The UV gamma rays. Aurora Borealis. I ain't getting this. It's not possible. My, my vessel is complete. It's a complete thing it's not botched it ain't ain't no way i'm getting these this is crazy bye that is a terrifying thought lots of questions and not a lot of answers nope all right, that was the full history, the full description of the demon face syndrome that took people by storm last month I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you actually enjoyed the video, I did not enjoy it. That shit was creepy. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. If I see one of these, I'm not even putting hands on you. You liable to bite my hand off. Just know I'm grabbing a sniper rifle at the suitcase, the, the, the old school, with the AR ornament charm Treyarch camo, and I'm sniping you up close, eliminating you. I ain't risking that. I'm walking amongst these. Like, what the fuck? I know I'm not going to get it, though. I'm gods, man. I ain't regular men. I'm not them. My vessel is complete. I'm not a multicellular organism that's conjured up and put together like CRISPR or Cas9 with genetic splicing from a whole bunch of different species that make up of you. I ain't one of those, so this ain't possible. I'm not getting these. If anything, I'm unlocking my first, my fourth Timoy. I unlocked my third Timoy two winter sources ago. Mind get your sharinga. I'm not going for that. What the fuck? Somebody let me know in the comment section. Don't whack. Knowing you, you're gonna lie. Let me know if you know someone that experienced this or have you experienced this. Because I, it ain't possible for me to go through this. It's crazy. Us versus them, man. I'll see you on the next video. I'm out.